Good day ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joshua Bamidele. I welcome you to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video. You are welcome to New M Network International YouTube channel. This is a channel where you have wonderful skits, movies, spoken word songs, wonderful things that are really going to bless your life. So please kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel and then click on that notification bell for you to be notified in case we drop any of our new content. Do well to like, comment and share our content anytime we release them so thank you so much i'll see you again yeah thank you bye Hi, Mr. Femi. Hello, ma. My name is Rachel Max, a representative of Impact Group of Company. Oh. We saw your personal community development project. You commissioned um, at, um, a Peke community. Yeah, recently at your local government. We celebrate young ones with um, such great talent. And um, for this reason is my call. We'd like to have you work with us in one of our subsidiaries, Light Up Africa. If you would not mind, could you please come over with your credentials? Okay. Our offers are laudable for anyone. We'll be starting off with a minimum of um, 250,000 pending your probationary period. And um, with some other benefits, the housing, your medicals, and um, some other benefits attached to it. I'm traveling next week. When you consider our offers, we'll tell you other benefits. All right, no problem. However, if you are not in East, you can come to our office so we can talk better. Okay, thanks for the opportunity. Thank you very much. Do have a great day. Yeah, goodbye. Ah, ah. Oh, girl. Hey. Just, just imagine. This is bad. Too bad. Too bad. Uh -uh. So, this community has not left the state of poverty. Aya. Imagao. Just, just, just take a look at the, the local houses, the road, even the people. Ah, girl. I can't believe that I've ever stayed here before. This is too bad for them. Too 
pot. Ah. You my go. Yeah, I'm jumping going back on. I die. Die. It's me, Dukwe, the sister of Debo, your friend, sir. Oh, Dukwe. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, wow, Dukwe, how are you doing? I'm it's fine. been a long time. How is school? Um, I'm not in school, but I'm learning tailoring at the down next street. But the shop at the right, as you're coming in, you're supposed to see it. Mm. That's where I'm learning. Wow, tailoring at the shop? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it that bad for you? Sir? Well, I, I, I'm afraid to say that might not amount to anything on that note, you know. But young stars are out there making it in this world with several innovative technologies, not telling at the shop. Well, I'm sorry. Anyway, how is Debo? Where is he serving now? Um, Debo is not serving. He's still awaiting animation. Eh? Yeah. Yes, sir. Wow. Oh my God, this is too bad. So. Can you now see that? This is what I've been telling them about why we're in secondary school. I, I don't tell them to be more serious. As if I know that this is going to happen. You see, using myself as a case study, I, I, I did a very great job where I served and I did many personal projects in my community that have made so much opportunities onto me. You know something? And I also called me for a big contract. And you know what? It's because I'm so diligent. And I'm very hardworking. This is how to say, but I have to say it. If your parents will really eat the food of, of Debo, he needs to be very diligent and hardworking. To be very now? passionate. Oh, sir, this is too much. No, oh, you see, you know, truth, you know, let me see, that's just the bitter truth. I'm telling you, that's my advice. It's a kind ah. of advice. Please, okay? Just, just, just find a question, because you know, actually, I just came home from where I served, she gets. Just to come and spend some weeks with my parents before going back to Abia State, mm. where I'm going to start a, a good life working in a very great company. Okay, just, just, I, I just, I just wish I can just sit the boy and just talk some senses to him. Sure, he get now. He needs to be very, very serious and be more diligent. All right, oh, it is where Ekpele. Okay, take care. Ah, girl. This is highly insulting. This man does not know anything. Under the bridge. How do you mean? I can't just imagine if I had once lived here. Mommy did not try, you. Mommy did not do anything. No substantial structure, no improvement, nothing, nothing. Ah, girl. Hey, Femi, Femi, watch your tongue. Mommy must not hear all of this that you are saying. Uh, what if she hears? Tell me now. What, 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 what will she do? What happened? You two, see, 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 look, look at just, just look at, look at what you put on. I beg, where's my bag? Let me give me a seat, Imagine, brother Imanko. Just imagine the way, the way he insulted my brother, my family. I feel like 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 I
Hmm? So, is it about my friend that just came back? Someone told me on my way here. And in fact, I need to go and see him because it has been a long time I said my hmm? son. Yeah, I need to see him. Still, like, like, but you cannot go and see him. See the person who insulted you and our generation. No, you are not going to go and see him. Do, eh, even if he calls me food and all, I know that one day I will do a great thing hmm? and good things too. Hey, hey. No, I won't take that. You're not going anywhere. Don't just go and see my talk. He's still my friend. Ah, no, 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 no. I won't take this. He insulted us. See, I've gone. Ah, Egbo, no. Egbo. Ah. Tell me, Kemo. I miss you. Hmm. <laughs> Big sis. Hmm. I did, Jaye. You see, life is about giving your best to what you know how to do best. Like, what I'm trying to say is this. If you have invested so much into diligence, you won't be where you are today. Possibly being fully employed or got connected with one of those rich guys, you know? <laughs> I know told you I was not diligent. Mm -hmm. In fact, I am still diligent. Mm -hmm. But you see, in my quest for fame and power, I encountered Jesus who saved me from death and destruction. Mm. And that enough is more than the whole world joined together. And I remember I told you that Jesus is not as difficult as you have taken it. Mixes, <laughs> mommy and I go to church too now. <laughs> I don't, just, just, just come to think of it. How do you attend to enjoy life with all these your evangelistic activities? You know what? Even Evan and L cases, I've tend not to believe so much in it again. Because God has given us this brain to work with. And in as much we work with it, things fall in place naturally. Femi, you are wrong. Mm -hmm. In as much as God has given us the brain, it should not serve as replacement. God taking preeminence in our hearts should be the reality we should all seek after. Big sis. Please, just free me, I beg. I'm not in for this. <laughs> well, how have you been? Pay me for Lasky. <laughs> Alaye, no, no, nah, that is within days. People call me Femi the Dawn now. Nah. Oh, Femi the Dawn! Exactly. How are you? Fine. You see, I actually sent a start to you initially and, and I told her to inform you that, you know, you should oyakuti improve her right now. You know, you have gotten something doing in this society. Forget. So what am I now? Meaningless? No, I'm not saying you are meaningless. I'm just to strive to become a better person. You get? Well, actually, um, you know, I, I love mechanical engineering. That's oh. what I wanted to study first and then, you know, but I've been, you know, I've been trying to study hard, but mm. whenever I, I try to study hard, that thing has not been coming forth, you know. Uh, mm. But, well, I've been trying to to learn some uh, automobile, automobile oh. um, engineering, something mm. like that. That's what I'm doing presently. <laughs> just, just come out plain. Mm? Just come out plain. You are learning meko, mechanic. mechanic. Good side mechanic, Meko. Debo Meko. Oh, get Debo Meko. Yeah, one for him, brand. One day we will get there one day. We shall get there one day. You see, you see, you better start something meaningful. Start getting more serious with your life. So I can see people like us, we have gone far, far to law. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Will you keep quiet? He's not my friend. Let me talk to you. 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 Let me we will we, 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 we get there one day. Ah, I hope so. Kia Kia New, we'll time is going. I, I just hope so. I'm missing you. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Just a little more time. Huh? 
I'll be back. In fact, I'm not tired of this place already. Really? What have you been hitting? That is just one of the reasons, man. The kind of food I've been eating here. They're just somehow this place I'm packed. In fact, this afternoon, I don't have choice than to order for a fried rice and chicken just to pay for lunch. Oh, that's not good enough. Sandra, yes, how are you sir. doing now? I'm fine, sir. You are very fine. Yes, sir. Just try as much as possible to read your book so that your mom and your dad can be proud of you, okay? Yes, sir. Your dad will come back and pick you in the afternoon. I won't be able to uh, come back in the afternoon. Okay, sir. Just try as much as possible to be a good girl, okay? Okay, sir. Let your mom and dad be proud of you. Okay, sir. All right, just um, let me give you something. That you can use it to buy something in school. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> All right. Uh, buy, just buy anything in the Anything, biscuits, anything. Little any... money. Yes. 200. Yes. I should use it to buy something in school. What was 200? I thought you wanted to give me 500. Yeah, I ah, ah. So you want to give me 500 or 1,000 and not give me 200. I'm not a small child though. Ah, 200. I cannot even use 200 to buy uh, biscuits or something. Ah, ah. I thought you want to give me 500. Yeah, I was. Okay, 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 Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. Bring that 200. <laughs> you want 500, Abby? Okay, um. Sandra. Sir. Be going. I should be going. Yes. I thought you want to give me money. Be going. Uh, I thought you want to give me. Please, now give me money. I have given you. Be going. <laughs> be going. I don't want to give me money. I don't want to give me money. Which is my own lonely, simple opposition. She can't. <sighs> is it that bad for me? My mates have gone ahead of me. I used good five years, five years to seek for admission, just to study engineering course. <sighs> See how this boy insulted me. See how he insulted me. <sighs> Is it not better to die instead of facing this, all this humiliation? It's better to die. Hello? Hi! And what are you doing here, Kate? <laughs> Is there anything bad in coming to see my fiance? Who oh, just arrived from Abia? Are you deaf or something? I've told you several that I'm no longer in your class anymore. I, mean, I, I, I can't stoop too low for someone like you. <laughs> Mot Moti, step up now. Uh -uh. Look into my eyes and tell me, did I offend you or something? No. Then why? Why offend me? What's the problem? Okay, fine. I've not been paying attention to your snobbing, your code names. And since I know you'll be back very soon, I, I left it. It is very simple. 
be very, very simple. I am no longer interested in you anymore. You are not in my class. Hey, what did you believe you learn now? <laughs> Do you mean class? Oh, you were not in my class when I used my own acceptance fee to pay your school fees at 300 level. And so? And I lost my own dream course. Yeah. Hey, I, I wasn't now. in your level when I used my own savings mm. to buy you food stuff and all in school when your father died. Well, anyway, there's nothing new in all this world anymore. She gave her anything. I ain't sure where. Three years relationship. Three years relationship. Mm. You see, Kate, let me tell you something. God only used you for me then. And now the time is over. I'm not in your class anymore. You see, my candid advice for you, just go and look for your level somewhere. As for me, but step up, man. Sure you get now. In fact, my girlfriend must not see both of us together. Okay, so Madame Camille. But you can't live to her. You need to step up. Maybe you are wicked. Bro, show you, one. you are wicked. Kids, stop it. Now show you one now. Show one mini. I come to Mogani. Joe, we'll go take care of you. Oh, she. I don't want to go Femi. 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 God will judge you. God will, God will judge you. <laughs> Jesus, 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 Father, I cancel every collaboration of evil over Femi's life in the name of Jesus. Every person conjuring evil over the fact that he lacks self-control, we silence them in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy over his soul in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy over his flesh. Have mercy over his spirit. Lord, I ask that you search his soul. I ask that you draw him nearer in the name of Jesus. Lord, take absolute control over his life in Jesus' name. Every tongue that rises against him in judgment shall be condemned in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise for his sake, O God. In the name of Jesus, arise for his sake, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oluwa Femi. Lagibo. As your name implies. The Lord loves you by revealing the plans of the wicked over your life. What I saw yesterday night was very terrifying. What is this again, Edmo? Please, for the record, I don't care about whatever you saw, okay? And for the record, Aburu, whoever is an enemy of God is a prey to the devil. The only perfect help I can give to you is that you should give Jesus room in your life. That is when you can live in the light and that the north is light. What is it again, Ego? Ah, Jesus, Jesus every time. See, spare me lectures, oh. Jesus is the least of my money now. Ego? Please, my brother, don't let the enemy rejoice over your life. <clears throat> I'm out of here. Are you sure? Tchau,
dead. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, just come. Come, Mimi. Femi, what did you just post? Nothing. What do you mean by nothing? Why would you talk to men of God like that? Why did you lose your sense of sanity and reasoning? How would you include great and mighty men by just adding your all? Put that post down now. <laughs> wow. And what if I did not pull it down? What will you do? <laughs> you are treading a dangerous path. Mm. And you are too infinitesimal to bear that path. Wow. Touch not my anointed. But you have touched the anointed by your stupid words. Honor your father and your mother, but you have chosen to dishonor the graces of the anointed. Hmm. I'm afraid you are signing up for the Micah's play. And it is destructive and grievous. I wish you would just use David's wisdom when anointing the men of God because our father didn't teach you this at all. I beg, explain me lectures, Javi. You don't have to threaten me. You cannot threaten me, okay? Please, tell me repent. <clears throat> you don't want to see the wrath of God, though. I beg, you mean, Javi? Femi! Ah, Femi. Femi! Fe fe ba fe, o bo igi nu golo mo lara. I have been summoned to torment you. I have been summoned to destroy you. I have come as a weapon of destruction to you, Femi. <laughs> A fefe king kong wa sho kong kong king kong wo do a ba tara ge mo bada on lo sha o ke gba it's time to deal with you it's time to pay for your actions What? Ah! Mugbe, how come? What? Yes, yes, I did. Ah! Ah, God. Ah, oh, God. God. Femi, what happened? My house in Nabia State was raised down by a woman called me. Ha! Who did have put out the fire? Yes, but my friend said all were gone. Hey. My my properties, the electronics, huh. my clothes, the new furniture. Oh. Hey, everything gone just like that. Hey. Hmm. But Femi, you should thank God. Okay. What if you were still in the house? And so? See, 
Don't worry, it's just clothes and all. We'll see that you get that in no time. Eh? And thank God that you now have a big job. We'll get all of that back in no time. Ah, God. Who is this? Hello? Hello, Mr. Femi. I suppose you have this number saved already. We regret to inform you that your services will no longer be needed in the company as um, we found a better replacement based on the company decisions. Ah. We are sorry for any inconveniences, please. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, uh. Again, the company just called now and they said that my service is no longer needed. Ha! Huh. What is happening to me? Femi! Femi! Hello, babe. You can't just believe what just happened to me now. What's that? My flat just got raised down by unknown gunmen. Ah, our house? Hey. Moreover, even the company that talks about um, employment the other time called also to tell me that my services are no longer needed. Femi, what's wrong with you? Wait, what's going on? This is bad, worse, and worst. I don't think I can get married to a man whose future is now dim. I can't start from the scratch with you. Scratch? No! I think you should get the babe from there. Uh, hello? Ah, bye. Uh, ah! Yeah. What is happening to me? What is happening to me? What is happening to me? Ah! House gone! Job gone! Babe, two is gone! Yeah! Ah! 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 What is here for me? Bye! What is happening to me? What is happening to me? What is happening to me? We've been seeing this over and over again, but several people have turned their fears to this. A wise man once said that it is important for you to be mindful of what to say, how you say what you say, where you say what to say, when to say what to say, and to whom you say what to say. But it is sad in today that several people never put caution to what they say. They just open their mouths wide and say anything that proceeds out of their mouth. The Bible says in the book of James chapter 3 verse 2, he said, we offend in all things, but he that offend not in words, such is a perfect man. Oh, because you are the happening person today, you can say anything to anybody. You have the money, you have the wealth, you have the connection today. And you feel that just because of that position, you can just say anything to anybody. <laughs> Please be watchful about this. My mentor do say something. He do say that, do not be afraid of the happening man now. He said, but be afraid of he that is to come. Or if you are talking down on anybody today, you don't know what such a person will become tomorrow. So be careful. Be watchful. Try as much as possible to be careful of how you present your word. So there's, there's a mannerism of presentation of words. You should be careful of how you present words to people. Several relationships have been scattered. Several families have been destroyed. Homes have been destroyed. Just because people have not been able to be cautioned. Be careful of what they say and how they say what they say. That thing, another very important matter is this. Several youth have been able to put themselves into problems and issues of life because they are not careful of what they say to fathers on social media. Oh, you have the social media platform for everybody to use. Oh, the father also have a phone, you also have phone. 
and you can say anything anyhow to anybody. You feel you can insult any man of God anyhow. You feel you have the capacity, you have the, you have the ability to just say anything anyhow. Bible says, honor thy father and your mother so that your days may be long. Several youths, several youths' lives have been cut short. Why? Because they've dishonored graces. They've insulted fathers and insulted people of grace. And the truth of the matter is this. The covenant that backs them up will fight against you even if they don't utter any words against you. Without them saying anything, the covenant they have, without them saying anything, the covenant they have with God can fight you. On a final note, meditate on whatever you want to say. Think about it before you say it. Be careful of what you say to your fathers, to your mothers, to the elderly. Be careful of what you say to your colleagues. Be careful of what you say to your junior ones because you don't know what they will become tomorrow. And if you have done anything bad, you've, you've said several words to people, you've said several words to fathers, and those words are hurting you. Please go to God in place of mercy, ask Him for mercy, and His mercy will come and locate your life. In Jesus' name, I pray God helps you. Oh, you see, Sister Kemi is calling. Ah, uh, Sister Kemi, just what I was discussing with you. Uh, hello, Sister Kemi. Yes, oh, uh, yes, just calm down, calm down. I know God is going to take control of our family's life. I'm also praying for him here, and I'm praying for him here too, please. And I know God will have mercy over his life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just, just let's keep praying for mercy over his life. And the Lord will have mercy over his life in Jesus' name. Okay? Don't lose hope. Let's still put our trust in God. God bless you, ma. Lord, I seek for mercy. I seek for mercy over Femi's life, Lord Jesus. I ask that your mercy prevails over his soul, Lord Jesus. I ask that your mercy prevails over his soul, Lord. I seek your mercy over his soul in the name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. You said you would have mercy on who you have mercy on. You said you have compassion on who you have compassion on. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. In the name of Jesus, I talk to you as spirit to spirit. Femi, I call you in the name of the Lord that your heart begins to yearn for Jesus. I ask in the name of Jesus that your heart begins to yearn for Jesus. with JP is a program that talks about singlehood, yeah. relationship, growth, uh -huh. development, uh -huh. and lots more. So sit back mm -hmm. to enjoy these wonderful episodes. Yes. So hmm. and don't forget to like, mm. share, mm -hmm. call your neighbors. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. Right there mm -hmm. and enjoy. Yes. Yeah, so comment section. We want to add your feedback. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Not from that. I am fighting with you. Eh? What happened? Ah. I'm fighting with you. Ah, ah. Hey. What did I do? Maybe they should show us. Okay.
I have three sister Joyce. Now, I have sister Joy a shukufu. I have sister Joy Umbu Fleke. I have sister Joy Williams. The three sister Joy are good. They are wonderful and they are perfect. At least. But which of them I'm confused? That's why I'm here. For us to reason together in prayer. So, so what's bad? <laughs> I can't believe that you are telling me that there's nothing bad in what he's doing. <laughs> he has three sisters. Uh -huh. uh, and you should choose the lucky winner. Now. Are you sure you are born again? You should do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop. No, 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 I disagree. I will not concoct the fact that Brother John is picking three sisters. Now the AE, they're over them. I don't know, no, no, no. That, that's uncalled for. Brother John does not know exactly what he wants. I think that's what is the problem with him. He knows what he wants. It's just that the three sisters are entering his eyes. So he should perfectly pray to his elder. He should choose the lucky winner. He should do uh, this writing of the, the right, um, names that he wants to do on the paper. Fine. He should just close his eyes to pick more like the lucky winner. There's nothing bad in this. It's a long process of. There's nothing bad there. <laughs> so he should be doing your job is my entire destiny, Abby. The way they were a year, your destiny to eternity. And that brings us to the question, what do you want? Personally, you must know what you want for yourself. What makes you happy? What are the things you want from life? What are the things you stand to represent? You need to answer all these questions for yourself. And here in the place of personal reflection, what you would want and what God wants for you are two different things. You see, spiritually, there are many methods God speaks to us. He speaks to us to the inner witness, his discernment, dreams, revelation. It depends on the method that God speaks to you. You can talk through the word. He has many methods by which he speaks to you. So, and he also makes known the patterns that you should discover. Sometimes it might just be like, I want to be like brother A, because brother A is like this. No, it will, it will make you discover the identity he wants you to have and the pattern by which he wants you to work. On social basis, to be able to achieve what you've discovered for yourself, number one, move with the right people. Mm. Like moving with the right people. Mm. And then you should find a place for mentorship. It should be submissive to receive um, corrections, to receive, um, to be educated. So you should have mentors to be able to achieve your purpose. You have to move away from your what? From your comfort So And then by doing this, you you see that you keep increasing. Yeah, and now, as much as you're in your waiting season as a single, the place of marriage comes in. Firstly, we did the personal, the spiritual, the social. Once all of these are intertwined, when you come to the place of marital decision, God will begin to lead you through. Because by that, you would have born the burdens of the Father, the specific burden, the burden that God wants to express through you. So when God brings a partner, he brings someone who is a covenant partner in what God has called you to be. So when the place of marital decision comes, what God wants for you comes to play. And see, most importantly, God doesn't give you what you want. He gives you what you need, what fills that gap in your life. Maybe the Mary and the Joseph, it may be the Isaac and the Baker, it has many things that it can do to you. So you will not be like Brother John who is always doing a UJ, UJ. Over a sister, like you will not be confused. It will be direct and God will help you. You will have your marriage to be something that is worth waiting for. In the parts of career, you have to know what God wants you to do. For example, now, um, Peter, why Peter was a fisherman, God wants you to be a fisher so in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. So, if Peter has denied God's call for him, we won't know anybody called Peter today. We won't know the virtue in him as an apostle. So, if he has stayed in his comfort zone, if he has stayed, okay, he's contented with what he's doing, he's contented with his business, okay, he's flourishing his business, he don't have to know what God wants for him. We won't know anybody today called Peter. But because he yielded to what God has said, he yielded to the call of God and boom, we will know what we gained from his life. All right, apart from being in ministry, your ministry can be in the academic world, your ministry can be in the business world, your ministry can be in the fashion world. Just know where God wants you to be. Just know where God wants you to stand in for him.
Yeah, so we just want to use this moment to pray for as many people who are in the place of finding themselves. The Bible says that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened, that you may know the length, the breadth, the depth, the height, and all that it entails. So we ask this day, O oh God, that as many people who are in the place of finding themselves, that by your spirit, you reveal your plans to them in Jesus' name. Amen. Ask, O oh Lord, that by this video, they not just appreciate, they not just like, but indeed they find themselves through their personal reflections and you indeed make their identities known to them in Jesus' name. Amen. At the end, we ask that we shall have the fullest cause to glorify your holy name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hmm. So we've come to the end of today's show. Yes. Don't forget to like. Yes. Don't forget to comment. Yes. Don't forget to share. Yes. And don't forget that the longest journey is the journey inward. Enjoy. All right. Now, let us talk to the phone. Ki oluwa ko wa pelu oyin. Ke si se orire. Ki ogolu abuyo lara yin. Ke la lu yo. Ke gba ogola. Ke lo shogo. Oruko Jesus.